The New Zealand First Leader Winston Peters has swung in behind his MP Shane Jones, joining him in savaging Fonterra and its chair. Mr Jones, who's the Regional Development Minister, has attacked the dairy giant, saying it needs to be restructured and its chair should get the next cab out of town. The Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern is trying to distance the government from those comments, which of course come shortly before Mr Peters is due to take over as Prime Minister. Here's our political reporter, Craig McCulloch. Jacinda Ardern doing the rounds at field days in Hamilton, one of the biggest events of the agriculture year on what's expected to be her last official outing before the birth of her child. She arrives a day after Shane Jones and his searing broadside against Fonterra, something clearly on farmers' minds. Being critical doesn't help. What's he had to offer? He should be reprimanded. He seems to have just shut his mouth up. No, I think he should get them to himself. <laughs> but there'll be no discipline for Mr Jones. Ms Adun says he made clear he was expressing his own opinion and not government policy. Ministers share personal opinions uh, all of the time, but what I'm making clear here is what he said is not government policy and, as I say, end of story, a personal opinion. But even as she was distancing the government from the comments, back at Parliament, Shane Jones was doubling down. This is not a government that's going to pander to the corporate culture that Fonterra at its highest level shows. We want accountability from New Zealand's largest company. And his leader, Winston Peters, also Deputy Prime Minister, backs him to the hilt. And I think that a massive, multi, hundreds and hundreds of million dollar loss needs an explanation. It needs a response from the market. There needs to be some accountability. Heads should roll. Whose heads should roll? Like his New Zealand first colleague, Mr Peters has his sights on Fonterra's chair, John Wilson. The dairy giant reported a near $350 million loss earlier this year. That included a one-off settlement with Danone and a write-down of the value of its being made investment in China. I cannot believe that with that massive loss in any respectable first world market that someone could still be in their job. Remember, Mr Peters is due to become acting Prime Minister when Jacinda Ardern goes into Labour any day now. National's Paul Goldsmith says New Zealand First is an open defiance of the Prime Minister. She can't control Shane Jones or the New Zealand First ministers. And he says it's nonsense to suggest Mr Jones is free to express his personal opinion. It's weasel words. He is a Minister of Economic Development talking about New Zealand businesses. So he's not entitled actually to a personal opinion. He's the Minister. The Minister who is in charge of agriculture is Damien O'Connor. He says a review into the whole dairy sector is currently underway which will take Fonterra into account. It's another really big and, and great company that we have in New Zealand. I'm not saying it's the best performing. I'm saying it should be and it needs to be. And we will tweak through the DERA review some of the requirements around Fonterra. And what does Fonterra and its chair, John Wilson, think of all of this? They declined RNZ's request for an interview. Atu iti whari parimata mō te hōtaka o te ahiahi, ko Craig McCulloch